With the brunt of the storm pushed out over the ocean, the Coast Guard warns that wind, waves and currents make conditions unsafe for mariners. The howling northwest wind pushing against waves and to the delight of surfers, whipping them up as they come ashore. It's a little scary when the conditions are this big, but it's still fun. You can get some good waves. Those same waves crashing against seawalls up and down the coast, peaking at high tide just before 1 o'clock this afternoon. Fortunately, no major erosion issues, no flooding in low-lying marsh areas, but the windswept waves providing a spectacle for visitors. But you got to be careful down along the seawall. The waves come splashing over and they bring with it a lot of debris, a lot of rocks can come flying over and it, it can be dangerous. While there are no splashover problems to speak of, coastal routes and anyone venturing too near drenched at times. Because it just went right over our head and, and we got soaking wet, but uh, we just laughed and enjoyed it. The ocean, the waves, it's beautiful, it's crazy, it's amazing. You know, come out here, get wet, take some pictures. I love it. Lots of people off work and school finding that by afternoon the roads were clear enough to venture out. And the impact on the coast is too much to miss. It's very windy and cold. <laughs> but pretty amazing. Do you want to go for a swim? No. I love the ocean and I heard the waves were huge, so I wanted to check it out. Well, the Coast Guard continues that warning tonight. The wind is still really howling here. And they warn whether it be commercial fishermen or surfers that even once it's left the area, the winds, the currents and those waves will persist at sea. We're live in Hampton, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.